Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please give a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just when you get out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, make sure you take your shoes off before you come to the house. And Amias Kader recently had his two-way contract converted to a standard deal and is now on a real NBA contract and a part of the Celtics' actual roster. He had some good moments and flashes before he signed the deal, but in these last two games, he showed all the reasons why he deserved to at least be taken a chance on in just 18 minutes per game over these last two he's averaged 17 points seven and a half rebounds three assists and three blocks and here he's going to come off anthony gill and he's going to help gets the block on the backside, and then we run to the other end run to the other end he puts his hand up signaling the screen for, for jordan walsh he gets it sets the on ball one he gets it here and the most impressive thing i think that people don't actually know about kate is that he can really pass the ball now he's not on Cornette's level yet as far as that, but again, he is showing flashes of things that are deserving of a real NBA contract and, and this is why he got it. So here he gets it, he sees how the defense is moving, O'Shea's cutting, he probably could have passed it here, but he uses his height, he jumps up and delivers an on-target pass to Sam, but he just misses it. Alright, so sorry for the smaller image, it was Mike Gorman day, they had a lot of people talking on screen, but we gonna respect it because it's Mike Gorman. Congrats on a hell of a career. And here, JD Davison, if you can see right here, he sets the back screen on Katie. He gets to switch. One thing he's been able to do since day one is offensive rebound. So he is very strong in the paint. He's gonna move guys around to get a shot up, right? And sometimes he's not the greatest finisher around the rim. If he's not dunking it, he has some touch, but sometimes, you know, he's not gonna hit every shot. But what he's gonna do every time is he's going to follow his shot. He gets the offensive rebound after the miss, and he puts it right back in. And sometimes it just looks like he has springs in his feet, right? He's a very nimble guy, and again, he's from Portugal. He's the first Portuguese player in the NBA, and you know soccer is really, really popular down there, and sometimes on defense, you can just tell that he has that soccer background. And here, it's the body control. So he goes up against Abdia. Abdia has it on one side with two hands, in the air he has the hang time to switch it to the other hand but Kata also has the hang time to then challenge from one side and then in the same jump go to the other side and block the shot of Avdia. and something i just kept preaching in my first film session of Kata is just his activity right again he's nimble on his feet he can go on the perimeter on a lot of occasions so here he gets it the guy pump face that's eugene omarui he meets it at the apex he blocks a shot and then we're going to come down on offense and on offense it's offensive rebound it's finishing and he's a great screen setter he puts his hand up right there for his feet he sets the screen gets johnny davis lagging behind a little bit so now he has the switch for the majority of the possession they get it to him at the elbow and the sellers are really comfortable with giving him the ball and him initiating some offense and he's making reads out of that so here he initiates a pick and roll again He's gonna stay right here and he also really understands spacing. So so here we have a pick and roll corner that he slips, right? So he comes out to the corner, right? Johnny Tavis is a tag man here. He's not gonna go out to the corner. He sees that there's a two on one. He cuts right to the basket and he dunks the ball. All right, so here the Celtics go to Ram action. Ram action is just when there's a screen set for somebody to go set a ball screen. So here, Cornette's gonna set a screen on Kata's man. He's going to come set the ball screen for Peyton Pritchard on Johnny Davis. And here he sets a good enough screen to get the switch. I've done numerous videos on the Celtics plays and how they get switches. The easiest way to get a switch is to set a good screen. Because the defensive player literally can't get back to their man in time. So they have no option but to switch. Of course, there are other ways. But setting a good screen is a really underrated part of the game. And they get switches like this and Kata scores over Johnny Davis. And if an action works one time, go back to it until they stop it. They do the same exact thing. Again, the Ram action. Cornette screens Kata's man. Kata sets the ball screen. And then here he gets the mismatch, gets deep. Post position, he's calling for the ball. His feet interested in. Pushes Johnny Davis one way. Pivots towards the basket and Johnny Davis has to foul him. All right, so here the Celtics go with shake action. Kata sets the ball screen and his role, his gravity as a roller get Springer and open looks. So here's a pick and roll, right? And this happens a lot if a team has a dynamic hander, handler in the pick and roll, which Pritchard has been these past couple of games. He's been dropping 30s. He almost had a 30 point triple double in this game. So Omarui shows so Jared Butler can get back. But as that's happening, right? Even before Kato rolls, right? You have Kisper on Jaden Springer 
in the corner. Omarui is showing and Jared Butler is trying to get back to pressure. And that means that there's a two on one when Kata Rose. So here's the shake action, right? So Kata Rose and Jaden Springer is gonna lift from the corner to the wing. So now this tag man who was kissed for has to choose if he's gonna take away the roller and give up this three or go to the three and he has to give up this roll. And I guess uh, uh, Jules will probably have to step over, but then that's an open three for either Sfee or Drew Peterson when the defense rotates. But on this roll, Corey Kispert sinks in to Kata. He leaves Jay and Springer open, a good pass by Pritchard, and he hits the three. And the first two redeeming qualities I saw of Kata from the first time he put on the Celtics jersey is his offensive rebound and his screen. And watch how he literally takes Jared Butler out of this play stonewalls him he can't get off the screen for like two seconds and now he's completely out of the play omar Rui has to step up pritchard's gonna pass to the corner but champagne gets there late and it's a three and again here with the offensive rebound he cleans up the jd davidson miss and again the nimble feet at that size the ability to occasionally check guys on the perimeter and prevent them from scoring so here at this point omar Rui has hit a couple threes right so kate is gonna close out with very high hands he jab steps he drives and here the anticipation from kata He's on the left side, right? And Kata already knows that Omaru is going to switch hands to try to use the rim as protection. He does not get fooled here, bats it off the glass, and here puts the chicken wings high so anybody trying to bat the ball out of his hands is probably going to get hit with a couple elbows. And here the Celtics are going to run a little blind pick action initiated by Kata. He taps it right to Pritchard. They immediately get into some screen and roll, and Pritchard drawing two guys on the drive using his great vision, drops it off of Kata for the easy layup. The activity around the basket, rebounding, blocking shots, offensive rebounding, and just being a presence in the paint. He's a real paint presence. And here, he comes off of his guy on the wing because he sees the slip by Jared Butler. Jerry Butler does not even see him. He thinks he has an open layup. Kata spikes it off the backboard. This video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winners roll in. Download the app today and use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Prospects is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Prospects even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, Prospects will have your back and not count that as a loss. Personally, I've been using Prospects for about two years and I've won a pretty penny in that span. I only do NBA and NFL, but you guys are probably more versatile than I am. Once again, download the app today and use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. In my first ever film session I did about Kate, I believe it was against the Warriors. There was a segment in that where I put like some clips of him shooting around before the game. And it was him shooting corner threes. This is not a part of Kate's game that I think that he will be incorporating like a lot but seeing this seeing this just made me notice some things i'm just noticing if at any point in his career there's ever a time where he gets comfortable enough to actually knock not this type of shot down but like the mid-range right here or right here or like in this lane i'm just noticing and you could tell he was feeling himself after that shot he's acts like he's gonna shoot the ball but then he gets into what he does best on the offensive side screening rolling and finishing big after the pitcher down all right so i wanted to show a couple clips of the charlotte game this is the game before the wizards game that we just watched before we get out of here and here on this possession i want you guys to notice his understanding of space and so here he says the ball screen he's gonna go to the block and Walsh is going to drive in the lane that he's in, right? So if he was to just stay here or to space this way, he would run right into Walsh. But instead, he spaces back to the baseline. So now Poku has a two on one. He's playing in between Walsh and Kata. And this also gives Walsh a passing lane to Kata. So he catches it on the baseline, takes a dribble, finds JD Davis in, in the corner. Now the same exact thing is going to happen. He is going to come this way but as soon as he sees that shady is driving to that lane he backs up and spaces to the baseline again so now again poku has to play in between them it gives jd a passing lane he catches it and he finishes and again the celtics are really comfortable with him 
initiated action here is him handling on the zoom action especially with those those dribble handoffs on those screens he's a great screen of course and he has some pass and feel and that could serve good for the Celtics as it does here with the Sam Hauser pull up here again some activity around the rim he makes himself large uses his length on the help he gets the steal here Sam Hauser we're going to get a push by Pritchard Pritchard makes an amazing move on Nick Smith Jr. And the important thing he does here, right? So after the spin move, he does the snatch back, right? So he's drawing Bolden and Smith primarily, but he sees Kata right here. He sees this passing lane here. So he's gonna go baseline to draw Bolden this way away from Kata for just a tick of a second. Then he's gonna fire that pass right there to Kata and he dunks it home. In this game, we've seen the Kata Cornette front court experience and they have some synergy together. It was a lot of good passes to each other here. Um, Cornette's gonna set the ball screen and <laughs> Kata's gonna be the one on the shake action here. He's lifting from the corner. Cornette is gonna set up shop in the middle of the rim. He's gonna get it, jump past the Kata, and he finishes it. And this was one of my favorite plays out of these last two games. Kata is clamoring for the ball because he sees that Cornette has a mismatch. So here you see him calling for it and he's going to look at Cornette right there, right? And he wants the ball to initiate the hollow action. He gets it, lobs it up where only Cornette can get it, and he finishes it with a layup. And here he gets it, looks at the rim again like he's going to shoot a hands off the hauser. Again, the offensive rebounder where this one just got right to him. Then he goes to the rim like he wants to score. He draws a couple guys and then eventually he's going to find Drew Peterson in the corner. And this was just a crazy catch after getting pushed. They didn't call it. Here he's able to use the length and the athleticism. Again, sometimes it looked like he has springs in his feet. The catch right here to reach all the way back at an impossible angle and he still gets the ball in through. And then on defense, he's in the pick and roll. And again, he's nimble enough to stay with Trey Mann long enough until he passes the ball off. And here again, his activity around the rim. He bobbles a pass that he should have caught. He corrals it, goes up strong. He misses. Again, the pogo stick ability, the springs in his feet. He gets the ball off the tip. And then here, he's going to carve out some space. And again, another jump pass off the pivot to Jordan Walsh for the three. And this was just crazy to see here. He gets the offensive rebound. And when you get the offensive rebound, especially if you have smaller guys around you, you want to keep that ball high so they don't swipe at it. He gets it, <laughs> keeps the ball high, and again, looks like he got springs in his feet, goes right back up and dunks it. And here on the last play, he's gonna set a screen, absolutely kills Bryce McGowan's. Then he's gonna come back, set a ball screen, not, he's gonna slip it, just puts his off, and here, the rip through, the pivot, springs in his feet. But that is the video. If you enjoyed it, please do a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just swing it out there a little bit more, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Nick, peace.